having designed a four bar or any mechanism for that matter for a particular application how can we say the designed mechanism is a good or bad one what is the quality measure of a mechanism we use mechanical advantage and also transmission angle as the index or quality measure of the designed mechanism in this video we will be dealing with the concepts of mechanical advantage transmission angle and toggle positions in a four bar mechanism so let's get started yeah hello everyone welcome to my channel i am dr v jayakma i make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students before we proceed if you have not yet subscribed this channel please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when i post a new video on this channel so these are the learning objectives we'll be dealing with mechanical advantage of a mechanism the effect of transmission angle on mechanical advantage finally toggle positions and their significance in a four bar mechanism what is a mechanical advantage similar to efficiency of an ic engine productivity in production or industrial engineering mechanical advantage is being used as a quality measure of all the designed mechanisms if you ask me the definition always it is a ratio between output by input the ratio between output torque to the input torque let us consider this four bar mechanism so what is the purpose of mechanism after all it needs to transmit and transform force or torque that is supplied to the input link effectively to the output link so let us write mechanical advantage formula for these mechanisms mechanical advantage is equal to output torque over input torque or the equivalent formula is output force divided by input force if a link rotates oscillates there we are transmitting torque some cases the link will have translatory motion as in the case of slider that time we are transmitting not the torque we are transmitting the force so depending upon whether your link is a translating link or rotating link or oscillating link we might be using the terms torques and forces okay when there is no power loss we could write input power we have supplied to the input link must be transmitted to the output link so p input equal to p output so i could write here t input multiplied by omega of input link is equal to the resisting torque of link 4 multiplied by angular velocity of output link this is the formula from this i could write if you consider a link having translation motion the same equation can be written like instead of torque i could write force instead of angular velocity i could write linear velocity this gives the power supplied which will be transferred to output link so conversely i could write from this i could write omega input by omega output or linear velocity of the input link divided by linear velocity of output link so using these two equations we could find mechanical advantage of any mechanism now i can very well apply that equation to four bar mechanism mechanical advantage of a four bar mechanism is equal to output torque t4 divided by input torque t2 which is equivalent to angular velocity of input link omega 2 divided by omega 4 so using this equation one can find mechanical advantage of a four bar mechanism now having introduced the term mechanical advantage 
let us deal in detail about other influencing parameters. Before we proceed, let me introduce a few more notations. Let angle between frame and the crank be theta. So theta is the crank angle. Angle between crank input link and the coupler be the beta. Then the angle made by the coupler and the lever rocker, also known as follower, is gamma. That angle is known as transmission angle. So transmission angle is the angle between the coupler link and the driven link. Actually, we could derive equation for mechanical advantage of four bar mechanism. The equation is this. This is what very important equation of mechanical advantage for your four bar mechanism. Just by closely looking at this mechanical advantage equation, we can very well understand three points. Point number one, mechanical advantage of a four bar mechanism is directly proportional to sine of transmission angle. That means if transmission angle increases, mechanical advantage will increase. Or if transmission angle decreases, mechanical advantage will decrease. That is the first point. And also from that equation, we can understand that mechanical advantage is inversely proportional to sine of beta, sine of angle made by the input link and the coupler, right? When the position of the crank changes, the values of gamma and beta will change. When the values of gamma and beta changes for different positions, mechanical advantage will also change. Now, let us see what is the effect of transmission angle on mechanical advantage. As this crank keeps rotating, the angle made by coupler and the output link will be varying. At one particular position of the crank, say when the crank angle is zero degree, here you could see there, the fixed link is in red color, the crank is in blue color, both are collinear, both are on the same line, that means theta is equal to zero degree. When theta equal to zero degree, it is observed that this transmission angle is very minimum. When the crank keeps rotating, when the crank angle is 180 degree, we have observed the value of the transmission angle maximum. When theta equal to zero degree, the transmission angle is minimum. When theta equal to 180 degree, the transmission angle is maximum. We should remember these two positions of minimum and maximum transmission angles which would be useful for us while solving the problem. Okay. Since we know mechanical advantage is directly proportional to sine of transmission angle, this transmission angle decreases, mechanical advantage value decreases. As gamma value becomes very small, even small amount of friction will cause the mechanism to lock or jam. The meaning of mechanical advantage lesser is that for the given input torque, the output torque exerted by the output link will be very lesser. That means it will have very weaker rotational motion. That means even a small amount of friction present in the joints will not allow it to rotate. What is the message? As a rule of thumb, while designing a four bar mechanism, we should not be using four bar chain in the region where the transmission angle is less than 45 to 50 degree. So we need to design accordingly where we do not have application 
which operates in the region of less than 45 or 50 degree of transmission angle okay we have said that mechanical advantage is the quality measure of any mechanism but these days transmission angle is used as a popular quality measure instead of mechanical advantage for measuring the quality of the mechanism because the ease with which transmission angle can be inspected usually how to determine the transmission angle if we know the lengths of all the four links for a given four bar mechanism we could very well use the law of cosines in order to determine the minimum and the maximum transmission angles for the given mechanism now we have two interesting positions in a four bar mechanism those positions are known as toggle positions when the crank keeps rotating the values of beta and gamma are changing at particular position say when beta is equal to 0 degree as in this case the crank and the coupler are collinear when beta equal to 0 degree this position is known as toggle position in the another position when crank and the coupler are collinear like a straight line that means the beta is 180 degree going by that mechanical advantage formula when beta is equal to 0 the denominator will be 0 so mechanical advantage will be infinite same is the case even when beta equal to 180 degree when beta is equal to 0 degree or beta equal to 180 degree the value of mechanical advantage is infinite these two positions where mechanical advantage is infinite are known as toggle positions what do you mean by mechanical advantage is infinite the physical meaning of it is even with very small input force or very small input torque we will be able to achieve or we will be able to exert very high enormous resisting torque of the output link these two toggle positions are effectively used for some special applications such as clamping mechanisms stone crushing mechanisms presses in order to produce very high mechanical advantage some of the examples are shown here we have mechanisms which uses the toggle positions where mechanical advantage is infinity so these are the interesting applications of toggle positions so eventually we should remember four positions of a four bar mechanism when theta equal to zero degree and theta equal to 180 degree we get transmission angle minimum and maximum respectively then when beta equal to 0 degree and beta equal to 180 degree we obtain two interesting positions namely toggle positions we must be remembering those four positions of four bar mechanism please support the work by liking the video sharing it to your friends and subscribing the channel that's it thanks for watching take care bye